Hello and welcome to a video on membranes and transport. More specifically, we're looking at the fluid mosaic model. This video is for AQA A-level students studying AS Biology Unit 1, that's Biology and Disease. Here are our objectives for today. We're going to know the function of the cell membrane, know the key components of the cell membrane, and understand the meaning of the term fluid mosaic model. Let's get started by talking about the function of the plasma membrane. Basically, it serves as a boundary between the outside environment of the cell and the inside environment of the cell, and it controls what enters and leaves the cell. We say that it's selectively permeable because it can control exactly what comes in and exactly what leaves, and it can have a little bit of regulatory control over the amounts of stuff entering and leaving as well. We'll talk about how it does that in just a second. So what is the cell membrane? Well, it's made up of a phospholipid bilayer. Now, phospholipids are a glycerol molecule with two fatty acid chains and a phosphate group attached. That's an inorganic phosphate group, so that's PO4-3-. Um, and they have different properties, different areas of that molecule. The phosphate heads are said to be hydrophilic, which means they love water. They want to be next to water, they're attracted to water. The fatty acid tails, however, well, they're hydrophobic and they want to be as far away from water as possible. What we see is if we dump a load of phospholipids into water, they form this bilayer structure, this two-layered structure, where the hydrophilic phosphate heads, they're in contact with water, and the hydrophobic fatty acid tails are protected from the water here. But that's not just, that's not the only thing that's in the cell membrane. We've also got some other stuff, so let's explore that. We've got some transport proteins, or carrier proteins. Um, here is an intrinsic protein. An intrinsic protein is one that spans the entire bilayer from the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell. We also have extrinsic proteins, which go sort of halfway. The intrinsic proteins are involved in transporting stuff from one side of the membrane to the other. And this is how the cell can be selectively permeable. So these protein channels are specific to certain substrates, so only certain things can move through different protein channels. The extrinsic proteins, they have more of a role in cell signaling in combination with our next feature of the cell membrane, which is glycoproteins. Now, glycoproteins are where we have an extrinsic protein associated with a carbohydrate branch. You know, these carbohydrate branches can also be on intrinsic proteins for certain things, um, but they act as a receptor for cell signaling or hormones. So these are the different components of the cell membrane, and the final one we need to know about is cholesterol. The role of cholesterol is to add a little bit of stability to the membrane. It maintains the structure of the bilayer. So it adds structural stability to the cell membrane. And those four components, the phospholipid bilayer, the two kinds of, two kinds of proteins, the glycoproteins, and the cholesterol, well, they're like the tiles in a mosaic, the different tiles. This is where we get the term mosaic structure from. But why is it called the fluid mosaic model? Well, the reason for this is because the cell membrane is dynamic. It moves. And all of those proteins sort of drift around uh, and move through the soup that is the phospholipids. So they're never really in the same place for very long. They move relatively to one another. So that's where the term fluid comes from. The mosaic part refers to the different molecules, different components that are present in the cell membrane. And that's pretty much it. So to summarize... The plasma membrane is more than just a phospholipid bilayer. It contains proteins, glycoproteins, and cholesterol. That's why it's called a mosaic. And the membrane is dynamic, so all components are fluid and move relative to one another. And that's everything. So like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.